Hello from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, where we are spending our Memorial Day weekend. And you might be wondering, what is Jim Thorpe? Where is Jim Thorpe? Why is it called Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania? Well, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania is right near the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania, and it's named after former Olympic gold medalist Jim Thorpe, who got his athletic career started um, 100 miles southwest of here at the Carlisle Indian Industrial School. And so the town is named after Jim Thorpe. But for our first day in Jim Thorpe, we are going to be spending most of the afternoon just exploring all of the cute little shops and then we'll find dinner somewhere and then wrap things up with a ghost tour. First, we checked into our bed and breakfast, which is Kelly Suites on Broadway. The first floor of the building is occupied by Habitual, a holistic wellness boutique featuring natural remedies for your mind and body. The suites are upstairs and include a king size bed antique furnishings, a kitchenette, and a private balcony. It also has its own bathroom with a whirlpool tub. We're staying in the garden suite for the weekend. We discovered our B&B was right down the street from a Jim Thorpe landmark, St. Mark's Episcopal Church. The church was designed by famed church architect Richard Upjohn and was consecrated in 1869. They have services every Sunday and occasionally offer tours. It has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since 1977 and was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1987. Now that we're here, we're going to take a stroll down Broadway and race streets and see the shops. We only have like two hours, so we're going to try to pop in and out at some places. But there are so many cute little unique shops here, and it's just so fun to window shop. The store we wanted to see first was the Emporium of Curious Goods, which is one of the largest New Age stores in North America. This store is filled with all of the bits and bobs you can imagine, such as fairies, a face for your tree, beanie babies, Christmas ornaments, a suit of armor, a bust of Nikola Tesla. This store just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> You'll notice that several places here reference Mok Chunk. Mok Chunk means sleeping bear in the language of the native Munsee Lenape Delaware peoples. It's most likely a reference to Bear Mountain, an extension of Mok Chunk Ridge that once looked like a sleeping bear. There are clever references to bears scattered throughout the small town. Although the borough is now called Jim Thorpe, the name Mok Chunk is omnipresent in this area. We personally think it sounds better than Jim Thorpe. Before Mock Chunk became Jim Thorpe, it was integral to the coal industry. The Lehigh Coal and Navigation Company was a mining and transportation company that operated in Pennsylvania from 1818 to 1964. During that time, the town helped ship coal to places like Philadelphia and New York City. The corporate headquarters were in downtown Jim Thorpe across the street from the train station on the Lehigh and Susquehanna Railroad. As the mining industry grew, so did the railroad system. Asa Packer was an American businessman who pioneered railroad construction in the Lehigh Valley, allowing for more efficient coal transportation. His railroad investments made him filthy rich. In fact, at the end of his life, he was the third wealthiest man in the country. had these row homes built behind me for the engineers and foremen on the Lehigh Valley Railroad. It's 
a little unclear when exactly they were built, but they've been here since at least 1849. Asa Packer lived in Jim Thorpe in the mansion up on that hill. Now we're gonna go have dinner over at Stone Row Pub and Eatery. And what's really nice about where we're staying is it's on the same exact street as the Stone Row. So everything's just like footsteps away. Well, that's if we can get to Stone Row. There's a situation here. <laughs> Tight squeeze. Okay, so just kidding. We're not going to eat at the Stone Row Eatery. Um, they are booked and they're not available until 7.30, but then we have a ghost tour, so that won't work. So we're going to try our luck with Bear Appetit. We like bears and any type of bear themed restaurant is cool with us. What are your thoughts? I mean, they taste like fries. I, I don't know. I need, I need some more time here. Not pretty good. Better than I thought it would be. We enter our bed and breakfast from a side door, which really belongs to this habitual um, shop. And right now there's no one in here because it's after hours and it's so creepy. Like it's just deserted. It feels like we shouldn't be here, but at the same time we're staying above this door. So weird. So we had dinner and it was actually pretty good. The Bear Appetit place had mixed reviews, but we liked our food. It was much better than I expected. It was. And now it's... Ghost tour time. So the ghost tour just ended. And it's raining a little bit, so it kind of looked like Buzz Lightyear. But, <laughs> um, our tour guide was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, we learned a lot of history, didn't see any ghosts, but she was super knowledgeable. Um, and we learned a lot about the town. So even if you are interested in the history of Jim Thorpe, highly recommend doing a ghost tour here, but we're very tired. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make the walk back up Ray Street to our bed and breakfast and we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.